Hello, welcome to part 2 of uh, an app inventor uh, tutorial of an app inventor extension. So, uh, in the last part we you know discussed about uh, how to set up the environment variable. So, now I'm going to talk about the details. Um, under the user variables, first of all, under the user variables, set Java home, set Java home to simple RAM files, Java JDK uh, 1.8, object 131, or the equivalent path you, you install your Java. And in some cases, you have to set Java options to minus XMS 10 1024M and you also have to set class path with C capital P capital to and harm stroke light and Java harm stroke light that is you have to refer to the library folder of the and path and Java path and set the value to the class path. All right. And number four, you have to set the path variable to and harm stock bin, and you also have to set Java harm stock bin to path you, have, you also have to set the pi home pi home stroke lib the live folder you also have to set the pi home that is the python install directory stroke dls dlls that is the dll folder and you have to have to see you have also have to set the Python home directory to light folder with L capital and lib minus tk and you also have to repair the the git directory and preferably the bind and inside the bin folder there is a file called git.xc you have to refer to this site and you also have to refer to the program files gi git and git uh, dash cmd.xd so now we have to move down to the system variables so in the system variables you have to you have to create an ant home variable and set it to the ant uh, to where you extracted the ant the ant the, the ant binary so in my case i extracted it inside inside the c apache ant under it or the equivalent path you you, you you extracted your ant so you up to, you also have to set the ant or pts that is you, you, in some cases you have to set the ant options to minus xmx 256m but reports also suggest you can also set minus xms 5.2 to minus xms 5.2m this also works and you also have to set the PyHOM, that is the Python install directory, the PyHOM variable to the Python install directory. In my case, I install it inside C Python 27, or you can set your equivalent path. So, by setting all this, by having setting all these variables and their values, you can, you can, uh, you can click on apply and click ok so now you set your variables and their values 
so what next now is to go to the directory where where you install is to go to the directory where you install or where you um, unpack your app inventor sources in my case I unpack it here inside uh, C inside C and a folder called AI so so when when you open the folder where you unpack your uh, app inventor sources then you will notice uh, you, you will see you you will see it like this so you can you open your you open this folder app inventor so you open this folder app inventor and right click on it so right click on the black blank space so you will see git bash here can you see git bash here so click on it <laughs> And tap and click and press enter. So if you see anything build successful, then you can you are ready to build your extension. You are ready to build your extension. All right. So. As you can see, you have we have a build successful here, right? That means we can go ahead and build our extension. <coughs> okay. Alright.